This is Timon Green and welcome to Microsoft Excel in 10 minutes or less. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing certain functions and features within Microsoft Excel that will allow you to use it more effectively in your job or in your business. So if you want to learn tools of using Microsoft Excel effectively, tune in. And I also offer Microsoft Excel courses. You can click on the link in the description to this video that's going to take you directly to my courses that I offer in Microsoft Excel. So without any further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a function known as conditional formatting. Now what the conditional formatting function allows you to do is set rules on a cell or a group of cells. So what I have in front of you is a profit and loss detail spreadsheet and what we are going to use this spreadsheet to do is for any amount that is $300 or more, we want the cell to be highlighted in a certain color. So the conditional formatting is going to look at the cells and for any amount that is $300 or more, it's going to highlight that cell. So in order to set up the conditional formatting function, the first thing that we want to do is click on the column that is the cell range. So in this particular spreadsheet, I'm going to click on column I to highlight all of the cells in that range. And whatever information you have in your cells, you of course will select that cell range. So after you have selected the cell range in the home tab, there is a option here for conditional formatting. So we want to go ahead and click the arrow next to conditional formatting to bring up the range of rules. Now, depending on what you're going to use the conditional formatting function to do, you're going to select whatever rule that you have. But for this particular tutorial, we're going to say highlight cell rules. Now, when we go to highlight cell rules, we are presented with a whole slew of rules that we can use. So there's greater than, there's less than, there's between, there's equal to, text that contains a data current or duplicate values. So what we want to use is greater than. So we select greater than. And so after we have selected greater than, we are presented with the new formatting rule. And this is where we would go to set up the rules for our conditional format. So the style that we choose by default is classic but if you click on the arrow you could go and change the different styles of how you want the conditional formatting to be displayed and we're going to keep it at classic for this particular tutorial then we have a format only cells that contain so if we select the arrow next to that we have format only cells that contain by default but then we also have other rules that we can apply and by the way I am using a MacBook Excel for this particular tutorial but if you're following along using Windows that'll work too okay they are pretty much the same 
just different operating systems. So what we're going to do is we're going to select format only cells that contain. So now the next option we have here is our cell value. But if we click on cell value, we can select other types of values within the cell. So if we want to look for a specific text to highlight or dates or blanks or whatever we want to look for, we can select that particular format. But because we are using numerical values, by default, we want to keep it at cell value because we're using numbers. And so the next option to use is our greater than because we selected greater than. But if you click on the arrow, you have other options. There's between, there's not between, there's equal to, not equal to. By default, we selected greater than, so it selected that. We have less than, we have greater than or equal to, and we have less than or equal to. Now, because our parameters said for the amounts for $300 or more, we're going to select greater than or equal to and the numeric value that we are going to use is 300. And so now the next option here is we have format with. So this is where we can choose the colors to highlight the cells. So by default, we have light red fill with dark red text. I'm perfectly fine with that. But if you want to go and select other types of fields, you can feel free according to what you're going to be using this for. You can select what other, whatever color interests you. So we're going to go by default. And what Excel is going to do is give you a preview of what your cells are going to look like. So based upon the parameters that we selected, the style, format cells, format only cells that contain the cell value greater than or equal to $300. Once Excel goes through that, it's going to format it with a light red fill with a dark red text. And now when we click OK, based upon our range that we selected at the beginning and we click OK, there we see everything should be highlighted. That is $300 or more. So when we scroll through that, there we see our conditional format. Now, you could have selected the numbers if you're picky about you know, the amount being highlighted to the amount header. I don't care about that. Biggest thing is that I was able to show you about conditional formatting. So that is how conditional formatting works. Conditional formatting is great if you have specific rules within a cell that you want to highlight. Instead of going through and doing it manually, you can set the conditional formatting to do it for you. And that is conditional formatting. So, to the next video, I'm Ty Green. Hope you learned something, and I look forward to sharing my knowledge in the future.